Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about this one example of sailor art on the ship and uh, a little bit about sailor art in general. So, we have evidence that the sailors personalized their workspaces with art like this throughout the ship's career. However, every time the ship was put back in commission, that basically everything that was there before gets painted over. Um, so oftentimes when these sailors come back looking for their sailor art, it isn't there anymore. What we have right now is most of what was on the ship when she was decommissioned in 91, which seems to have predominantly been painted by the crew in the 88, 89, 90 time frame. Typically, sailor art does not survive more than a couple of years because every couple of years the crew rotates out, the space needs to be painted again, uh, it's very difficult to repaint something that's there, so you just paint over it entirely and then come back later. It wasn't until the ship's 1980s commission that sailor art was sanctioned. Uh, at that point, it was formalized that you could submit a design proposal to your division officer, and if they approve of what you're painting, uh, then you're allowed to paint it on there. So we assume that sailor art like this one in a major birthing space uh, on one of the major through ship uh, passageways went through that approval process. And uh, this artwork is particular to the guys who live in this space. The second division guys are the guys who man turret two of the deck division. Uh, it's got their slogan, second to none. So this is a good morale thing, good personalization of the space. And it means something to them. So it is a monkey. The deck division guys are known as deck apes. There you go. Uh, he's wearing dungarees. This guy is absolutely shredded. He looks pretty angry. Uh, he's got a mop and mop bucket. The deck apes do a lot of cleaning and painting. Uh, and he's wearing skates. Skating is what every sailor aspires to do. Uh, it is basically hiding from work. So a, a skating deck ape um, is not an uncommon thing. And it's even called seaman skate. So this is a very cool piece of art. It's worth mentioning that since we are a museum. Uh, we are not painting over any of the sailor art. We're trying to retain it as much as possible. Now, there have been instances when um, the sailor art has flaked and painted and, and chipped in various parts of the ship, uh, particularly spaces that are not climate controlled. It causes the metal to expand and contract, which causes the paint to pop off. That's the same for your regular top coat as it is for any artwork that's on there. So, um, we have an artist who is a volunteer for the museum who volunteers and goes through and touches this up as I find artwork that is in need of uh, that sort of work. In addition to the uh, roughly 40 examples of sailor art like this that was presumably approved that you can find around the ship, there are also unapproved examples of sailor art around the ship. And, and these are less artwork, like, like this is a painting. Somebody spent some time working on this. And more like Sharpie graffiti or uh, things like that. And those are often uh, subject matter that would not be approved. Um, so it might have curse words. It might have adult imagery in it. Although it's worth mentioning that some adult imagery shows up in sailor art like this, and some curse words do. The motto of the ship's crew under Captain Tucker was Wetsu, we eat this stuff up. Uh, so there are places where that is written out in long form that was accepted. There is some stuff that's too far beyond, and you don't tend to see that sort of stuff up here. Even when she was in service, Battleship New Jersey had a lot of tourists visit her. Uh, this ship did a lot of publicity for the Navy and for the battleship program. Uh, and so the stuff that you see up here on second deck where 
visitors are expected to be walking around tends to be more of the, the cleaner PG stuff like this. It's not until you get down in the engine room where you see scantily clad women or uh, curse words written and then those sorts of spaces you would not expect tour groups to go when the ship was in service. Now, to see a lot of this sailor art nowadays, even stuff that is not on the regular self-guided tour route like our deck ape here, uh, you can join us for a special um, twilight tour, which happens outside of normal visitor hours, is for adults only, and will uh, go around and tell some of the more macabre stories about the ship's career and uh, show off some of the sailor art from uh, that, that we can't leave out on the regular tour route. So there's a link in the description below to our website page, which has where you can buy tickets for the next month's uh, Twilight Tour. So I hope to see you there. How do you personalize your workstation? I have a lot of paintings of ships hung on the walls in mine. But let me know what you do in the comment section down below. You ever painted a monkey on the wall? Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.